Hello, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. If you're new to the channel, we are going to talk about agrimony in this video. So everything concerning this wonderful agrimony herb from side effects to benefits to warnings to different ways to use it and specific recipes to follow when it comes to using the power of agrimony in the healing process. So we are here at Amazon as well as iHerb, eBay and Mountain Rose Herbs to show you the Agrimony Herb, which is not quite common as other herbs before. In the previous video, we talked about cam oil and we also discussed the benefits of it. So if you haven't watched that, the last video and you would like to know the important things about cam oil and how to use it for your own health, I highly advise you to check it out. I will include it in the description box below this video. So we are talking about Agrimony here. And as you can see here, we have have the agrimony organic uh, herb which is dried and we also have most of it in dried and also there is an agrimony a flower remedy as well that's highly recommended and it's just basically an essence so it's much more of a concentrated form and uh, this one's more for energetic healing so it's to communicate openly if you are into flower remedies we've also talked about and discussed the benefits of flower remedies before in this channel so I will place a link to the video about flower remedies and the specific studies regarding flower remedies in the description box below so you may want to check it out but uh, this is another option that you can use the agrimony flower for. Uh, so most of it are either in loose leaf or powder. And this is another type of flower essence, another brand, sorry. We have the agrimony lotion. So let's get started talking about the wonderful power of agrimony. So agrimony is considered a really sacred healing herb. And it's actually used for mucous membranes. And it's also considered a sacred herb because it has astringent properties in order to help to store Stop bleeding. So the species of uh, agr agrimony is the A. Euro, um, U Eupatoria, sorry for my um, pronunciation, I will link the most important information that we discussed in today's video in the description box below for you to refer to that later on. So this specific uh, type of agrimony has been used since the Saxon times for wounds specifically. And also in the 15th century, it's also been the most important main element or ingredient for the uh, Arcus Bustain water, which is basically a battlefield remedy for gunshot wounds. Quite interesting. And also the healing power is now attributed to the herbs high silicia content. So because it's high in silicia, it has wonderful healing powers as well. And a different species of agrimony uh, is uh, the A. bilopsia, uh, sorry, the A. bilosa, which is known in Chinese medicine. It's also used in different ways of, as well. So we've got two types of agrimony that it's considered for its healing powerful benefits as well. And it's basically a cool, drying, bitter, astrogenic taste to it. And it's filled with tannins, with silicia. It also has a central oil component that is extremely bitter and it's rich in mineral, uh, minerals in vitamin B and also vitamin K as well and flavonoids. So what it does is it is extremely diuretic and it's uh, a basic tissue healer. So it's, as we said, it stops bleeding and it stimulates the bile flow and also it has antiviral properties that are uh, reported in the studies as well. Uh, another thing is that it, uh, the specific part of or the specific species of agrimony, the second one that we discussed that's highly used in Chinese medicine, the A. bilosa, is um, important because it contains antiparasitic and antibacterial properties. It's different to the A. U. Upatoria, the first species. So make sure if you want to use the herb agrimony for its antiparasitic and antibacterial properties, make sure that it is the A. bilosa uh, species of it. So there is different parts of the agrimony that can be used. We have the uh, leaves as well as the stems and the other parts as well. So for the leaves, uh, there are uh, a component of a cooling astrogenic component to these leaves and they can be used for hot conditions they could be used for cases of diarrhea bronchitis urinary infections as well also to help clear inflammations in general and phlegm and toxins and encourage healing they are good for the skin 
specifically skin inflammations and ulcers, and they do stem bleeding. Uh, sorry, they do stop bleeding from cuts as well. So when you are growing area, uh, the agrimony, or when you are growing this wonderful herb, or it's growing in your area, and you have uh, correctly identified it using the correct sources, you may want to gather uh, before or during the early flowering in summer, just so. But, like basically before it starts flowering in the early summer is the best time to harvest this wonderful herb. So uh, it has also been used to stop bleeding as we discussed and the Chinese species, the uh, Abilopsa, uh, sorry, Abilosa, uh, has been used for its antibacterial, anti-parasitic uh, properties, also used for tapeworm, for dysentery and for malaria as well. So I highly advise you if you want to use the agrimony to head over to a, a medical uh, holistic practitioner and then use it under their uh, approval and under their supervision as well because it is a quite potentially uh, powerful herb so you want to use it with care and we have um, a, a couple of uh, things that we would like to discuss in this video apart from that which is how to use the herb how to go up about applying the herb or we'll have different ways we have the tincture we have uh, polishes we even have the gargle as well so for the infusion it's basically considered a gentle remedy for diarrhea as we said specifically in infants and children i do not recommend using it with infants and children unless you are uh, under the supervision of a medical holistic practitioner that has already seen your child and diagnosed uh, the problem. Here in this video, we just simply give you an informative information about specific herbs and specific remedies, and also what has been personally working for myself, as well as many others based on the recent uh, studies, scientific studies as well. So when it comes to the uh, infusion, it can also be taking, taken um, for uh, basic uh, health as well. So for the tincture, it's really potent and it's really drying more than the infusion so it's effective for conditions that involve excess phlegm or mucus and this also can be used for different ur urinary in uh, infections bronchitis and also heavy menstrual bleeding as well so it's really important for that another way to use this um, agrimony herb is as a politis so you can apply the politis on uh, of the leaves for migraines. So we haven't discussed politis in this channel before and we will do a concentrated video on how to do politis and how to apply different ones and take advantage of that uh, early uh, in the upcoming videos. Another way to use agrimony is as a wash. So you can simply use the infusion for wounds, for sores, for eczema, and also for varicose ulcers as well. So for the eye wash, you can use a weakened infusion around 10 grams of the agrimony herb to about uh, 500 mils of water for conjuvitis. So warm water to 10 grams of the agrimony herb for conjuvitis. Simply use it as a, a wash as well. So let's have a look at what is available in Mountain Rose Herbs for this wonderful herb. Here we only have the a dried component of that herb. Apart from that, we also have another way to use agrimony is as a gargle for sore throat, for um, uh, nasal blockages as well. You can use the infusion as a gargle. So the you can also use it for uh, the deconcussion, which is simply use the Chinese form of the herb, which is the abilopsa, for heavy uterine bleeding, also for uh, digestive parasites as well. So it's really great for that, just like wormwood. Another thing is using it as a compress. You can soak a pad and use it for boils. You can also uh, use it as a, a specific uh, general immune booster as well. So I hope uh, just before we end the video, I just want to discuss some words of caution uh, and words of warnings as well. So the herb agrimony is very estrogen, estrogenic and it's also can be taken if you are um, having some digestive discomforts, but you need to avoid taking it if you are suffering from constipation. So if you're suffering from constipation, do not take the herb because it will make it much more worse. So we've come towards the end of our video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, share and subscribe. We would love to have you on board. Take care. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.